Extreme Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. Canyon there, then there's some canyons coming off of it or fingers coming off of it. Pretty much everything's just been kind of going back and forth between checking the cuts and Nastyville and over here. Yeah. So I say let's go back around this way and get the wind right, find a high point and blast a bunch of stuff out. Come Sounds back to like a winter. Thanks for joining us back here on Extreme Outer Limits. The next two episodes, we're down in New Mexico and we're gonna be representing our Broken Top Outfitters operation. On the hunt, we're gonna be hunting mule deer and Audad or Barbary sheep as some of you guys know it. The ranch that we're gonna be hunting is about 24,000 acres and I am not gonna be the trigger man. I'm gonna play host this time. With me, I've got Jason, uh, one of my buddies from Oregon, and I've got Ty Martin, uh, who works in our office at the Extreme Outer Limits, and he handles our marketing. So what we're gonna be doing here, because uh, we haven't done a lot of it in the past, is actually running for the sole promotion of Broken Top Outfitters. So uh, Ty's looking for an odd ad, Jason's gonna be looking for a mule deer, I'm gonna be playing host, so come along with us, it should be a great ride. In these episodes, we're gonna be representing our Broken Top Outfitters operation. Uh, we have not promoted it in the past. We have been running an ad, so some of you guys have sent me emails and you've asked, uh, kind of inquired what Broken Top Outfitters offers. So this is our first chance ever to film a couple episodes on behalf of Broken Top Outfitters. And let me kind of give you a rundown of what it is and, and why we have it. So some years back, we acquired Star Valley Outfitters in Western Wyoming. That operation runs through an all draw-based tag system. So meaning it runs on a preference point system and you have to apply for the tags and some applicants are gonna draw and some are not. Broken Top Outfitters, we set up to work with some of the great outfitters that we've been working with and filming Extreme Outer Limits television for 12 years now. So we've got leases in several of the Western states. Uh, hence, we're in New Mexico now, but we've got them from New Mexico all the way back up to Oregon. Now, there's two types of tags and hunts that we offer through Broken Top. Some of them are gonna be private land and with guaranteed landowner preference tag hence this one here. We also have outfitter allocated tags. Some of the outfitter allocated tags will take place maybe not only on private, but they could be a unit wide tag in which you can hunt public as well. So as we got into outfitting with Star Valley, we realized there was a need that we couldn't quite fill. Uh, and that was for getting our unsuccessful applicants into hunts. So we started Broken Top, we went back and revisited with a bunch of the outfitters that we'd worked with over the years, and we made some arrangements and some agreements to help them in turn to help us. So here we are, we've got 24,000 acres on this ranch. Uh, we've got some rimy rocky canyons, as well as just some high prairie land. So we got really no idea. So far this morning, we've already spotted a couple buck mule deer, but we haven't seen any sheep, but hey, the hunt's gonna twist and turn wherever it goes. We'll just have to go along for the ride and, and hunt with these guys. So uh, I'm expecting a really good uh, next week of hunting. So stay with us guys.
This segment is brought to you by the Night Force NX-8 4-32x50 rifle scope. Featuring a high-speed zero-stop turret, a 30mm tube allowing for 90 minutes of adjustment, and ED glass, producing superior image quality at high magnification. The new Zeiss Victory RF laser range-finding binocular provides you accurate ranges and ballistic corrections from 11 to 2,500 yards. A fully customizable ballistics platform, Bluetooth connectivity, and a phenomenal binocular all in a compact and lightweight unit. The new Zeiss Victory RF is EOL's rangefinder of choice. Well guys, we've been shaded up. It's midday, it's about 80 degrees. And uh, we had me, Tim, and Ty in one area. There was a couple cedars. We had some really good shade. Jason and Bobby were on another ridge and they got kind of run out of the out of the shade they were in. So they had ended up moving about half a mile and dove off on this side. There's some rims up here. Um, and they spotted a buck, if not one, maybe two bucks, but one that they can see face on. So they sent me a text, come picked us up, brought us in. We're gonna grab some glass. We're gonna sneak over here, back over to Jason and take a look at this buck. But Bobby says he's pretty old, pretty mature, white in the face. So we're gonna go get a look at him and who knows what will happen from here. But if it's something Jason likes, you never know. I don't know, I, I, uh, I, I hold back because you know, there's deer I think are old, and then they hit the ground, they're not old. The, the thing I wonder, but again, I'm used to looking at big Wyoming deer is, his head's not very big, right, in general. Like, the, the deer's head, he's not that big. Now he has mature color, but is that just color of his hide? Because I don't think his head is that big. If you separate the white forehead away from the size of his head and the bridge of his nose, I don't know that he's that old. Can the hunt resume and we go look for big deer again? We knew all this. We just were sick of you guys having comfort. The tree we were in was nice. It was enough room for all of us. We're gonna have to do an ammo grab from Jason here. Right, I have he cannot hidden. be trusted alone. I have some hidden ones. <laughs> Well, Ty spotted the first, what are we gonna call him, Barbary or Audad? Like, we gotta pick one. Audad. Okay, we're calling him Audad this trip. <laughs> he calls trip. them sheep. <laughs> I mean, they're sheep. Anyway, we were just sitting here and it's kind of thick and spread out. It's not the great greatest viewing, but um, we're just up on a hill enough to see over it. And lo and behold, he had his glass in a spot and they come walking right at us, but it's not what we're looking for, but it's encouraging that they're here. Mm -hmm. Some nanny and a kid, or a you and a kid, whatever they call them. But hopefully there's more around. They're very much like that. Oh, almost like clay dirt color. Yeah, they blend in. 
Very much. They're not easy to see, especially in that darker mm -hmm. orange rock. Well, we're on this side. It's basically, there's a road right up here that we took the Polaris and it kind of arches. And so we took the west and Jason and Bobby took the east. And so we'll just keep looking. I like this so far because it's an opportune trip. If we see a big ram, you get to go first. If they see a big buck, then they get to go first. But it should be exciting either way. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store, now offering optics, bullets, and accessories for all your hunting needs. For more information, visit theextremestore.us. This segment is brought to you by Trigger Tech Triggers, with the most advanced technology in the industry. Trigger Tech Triggers offer the most precise, consistent, and dependable triggers for your rifle. On the range or in the mountains. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by the all-new Extreme Heavy Hybrid line of Burger Bullets. Extreme, rated best in class, ballistic coefficient, heavy, delivers the greatest amount of kinetic energy per caliber. Hybrid will extend the effective range of your rifle. Go to the Extreme store to get yours today. Day two here in New Mexico on our mule deer Audad combo and got some hot, hot weather. Yesterday was a pretty good day considering the fact that it was about 85 degrees in the midday. Um, Ty was actually able to turn up uh, a female and a yearling Audad. That was pretty cool. We weren't necessarily even in the area that we'd thought that those things would actually be so we're hoping after we get a little bit more time in and hopefully tag out on a mule deer we'll get moving to that part of the ranch where there's more of them um, but it was cool to see and then uh, oh heck I don't know we're probably six eight maybe ten bucks in total so far but nothing of any any size that we're looking for this morning it's a bit colder but the crazy thing is I think they say the high might be a couple degrees warmer but the deer are moving right now. So we're just kind of hitting spots as we go, just kind of quick looks. And we're just seeing deer in every one of them. We're just gonna keep kind of moving. But anyway, I'm hoping this cloud cover stays and maybe the weatherman doesn't call this one right and it stays a little cooler because these deer definitely like it. It's been more action this morning than probably all day yesterday. So anyway, day two, here we go. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store, now offering an exclusive McMillan Game Hunter Universal Inlet Stock, capable of accepting all Remington clone actions in a wide variety of barrel contours. For more information, visit www.extremestore.us. 
This segment of Extreme Outer Limits was brought to you by the Extreme Shooting School, an information-packed two-day class. For more information, go to ExtremeOuterLimitsTV.com. This segment is brought to you by MOA Rifles, now offering their Extreme Series actions. Built with long-range performance in mind, MOA actions are constructed to handle the most advanced bullet and cartridge combinations on the market. For information, visit MOARifles.com. Five and a half minutes on his shoulder. Get set, look at him. Let me get the spotter. All right, guys, we got a buck bedded in the cedars. We're trying to sneak out 449 or 445 yards. Don't go yet, Jason. Let me at least look at this deer before. So if I want to talk you out of it. You might get zoom out. You're going to talk you out of it. I'm not going to talk you out of it? Well, let me at least spot the shot then. Hang on. Good win. Go ahead. You went right over him. He's just on the side of the hill. Now he's walking to the right. Okay. Shoot him right in the pocket. There you go, that went through him. That went through his chest. He went do right, Jason. And, oh, he's trying to stay up. And he's down. Yeah, you lunged him perfect right behind the shoulder and, and it, it rippled his hide, but I seen it go through. And then he, he took it and he went uphill and he started to kind of line out to go over. And then he did the, uh, all right, well, we got a deer down guys. Heck yeah, nice work, dude. Well, heck guys, that's how it goes sometimes. We're, you know what though, we had a hell of a morning. Honestly, like this morning was significantly different than yesterday morning because it was cooler. We were seeing a ton of deer. And then uh, these cedars surely have something about them, don't they? These bucks seem to just gravitate towards them because yesterday we had a bedded buck in the cedars, today another bedded buck. Cameraman yep. gets credit for this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. As much as it hurts us. I know. <laughs> well, it actually, it started off, it was like two phase. You said, I bet you my gun. I, said, I guarantee there's a deer in those cedars. <laughs> and then we roll around and Tim, who's supposed to be on the camera, looks and he goes, guys, there's a buck staring straight at us. <laughs> I should have bet you the gun. I would have had two guns. Yeah, Bob would have made more money off of me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would have worked out good for everybody. That was a 300 you needed right there, 300 PRC. All right, well, we'll cut it off here. We're going to make our way up there and get our hands on a nice buck. Come on, big boy. He is. Nice. Pretty good size, man. Good buck. Yeah, dang good buck. Boy, that lung shot let him out. Man, oh man, that 300. Yeah, like I say, just a little short on that back. Yeah. But yeah. Older deer. Well, I think I might have underestimated his width when he was down there because I was sticking on 24. Bobby said 26. He's probably a little bit more towards Bobby. Well, Jason, good work. Thank you. Well, guys, this is going to wrap up Jason's deer hunt. We're, we're here on behalf of Broken Top Outfitters, and this is one of the ranches that we work with, a great guy uh, by the name of Bobby Hines down here. We're down in southern New Mexico. I mean, we're actually really dang close to the Texas line. This has been a kind of a cool opportunity because these two have taken on the hunt where it's a uh, mule deer and then an odd combo. Anyway, here's the plan. Jason and I and Bobby are going to work on the deer. Bobby has another guide by the name of Dwayne that has been scouting on the ranch, kind of getting to where these sheep should be. Uh, since we're running out of time for this episode, we're going to wrap up right here behind Jason's nice buck, and then we're going to send Tim and Ty. So what do we call you? Is, is it like a rookie or is it like a mentor? Maybe it's intern. <laughs> at the beginning, at least the beginning of next week's episode, Here's going to be your host. So, Jason, good work. Thank you guys. Good work, dude. Good By the way, 
Jason on the elk hunt. That was another broken top arrangement. Jason's becoming a little bit of a regular, but he had a great Nevada bull. So I appreciate that hunt and this one. So we kind of got a thing going on here, yeah. man. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next week as these boys get going for the odd ad. Extreme Outer Limits, brought to you by McMillan Stocks, Rugged Ridge Outdoor Gear, Night Force Optics, Grip and Pull, the best bullet puller in the world, MOA Rifles, Star Valley Outfitters, and Broken Top Outfitters. And also brought to you by 